Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you a tutorial for Risu AI. So first of all, you will have to open up the browser. Then in there, you will have to type in here Risu AI, hit enter. From there, you will have to go to the GitHub. Now once you're at the GitHub, just scroll down and look for this installation window and in here go to the web version right here and you will be at the website now in here type in what you would be like to call it. after that just hit send now in here you will have to select this one right here set up later Now once you're at the website, you will have to click on these three buttons right here and go to settings. Now once you're in settings, click on this advanced window right here. Now in here and in here, you will have to select Cobalt AI. Just click on this window, click on show unrecommended settings and select Cobalt. Do the same for the auxiliary model, click on it, show unrecommended settings and click on Cobalt. Now to get the Cobalt URL, you will have to open up a new tab and type in here Cobalt AI Collab Notebook CPP which is must. After that hit enter. Now from there, go to this GitHub link right here. Now once you're here, click on open and collab. Now after that, you will be here. Now if you're on a mobile, you will have to run this cell as well. Now in here, you will have to select your model. Just click on this bar right here and select any model you like. I will go for this X1 right here. Just click on it and after that, just run this cell as well. Click on run anyway. Now to some time your URL will be generated and you will have to copy this your remote tunnel is ready this link right here. Just copy this link right here. Now go back to Risu AI and just paste that URL right here. Now adjust the max context size to 4096 and max response size should be left at 500. You can also adjust the temperature right here. And lower temperature means the replies would be formal, whereas higher temperature means that the replies would be much more creative. Now you can also customize your persona. Just click on this persona right here. Now you can also create multiple personas by just clicking on this plus button right here. You can also add an avatar for yourself and you can also change your name and you can also put in your description right here. You can also import, export or remove a persona right here. You can also adjust the user interface by just going to this display on audio right here and selecting from different options right here. Now to chat with the bot, you would have to select one from these right here. And you can also get more by just using this get more button right here. You can search for different bots and you can also filter them out from here. Now to see if a character has emotions or not, you will have to look for this emoji right here. If the emoji is present on this character's interface, then the character will have emotions as well. Like this one has emoji but this one doesn't so this is without emotions while this is with emotion i'm just gonna go for this first one right here just click on it and click on download and click on accept now after it has been downloaded it will be added right here just click on this character and after that you can send in messages and start to chat just hit enter and the message will be sent so here is the response right here. Now you can read this out loud. You can edit this response as well as you can delete this response as well. Now if you click on this three bars right here, 
In here, you have additional options such as you can continue the response, you can screenshot it, and you also have post file auto suggest and modules. You can also have multiple chats with the same character by just clicking on this new chat right here and will add a new chat with the same character right here. You can also edit that chat. You can download that chat as well and you can delete a certain chat as well. Now you can also edit a character by just going to this character window right here. Just click on it. You can change the name. You can change the description. You can also change the first message as well. And you can also leave in an author's note. And you can also go to the advanced settings right here and just scroll down from there. And you can remove this character as well. So that's for my chat, and that was a tutorial for Risu AI. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.